support from Utobi, the Smith Family Foundation of Estero, Pallet Pals of the United Church of Christ, and WGCU Public Media. So thank you so much to all of them for supporting the arts here at FGCU. And we also rely a lot on our staff and student workers, so a special thanks goes out to Annika Sturdivant, Gallery Coordinator, Joanna Hoke, Events Coordinator, Mary Cooper, Executive Secretary, and our student workers, Layla Mazdagi, Rachel Bass, Anthony Abaglin, Jackie Sanabria, and Caitlin Roslin. Thank all of you. So this semester is our largest senior project graduating class ever. We have 19 students who are graduating and their exhibitions are in the uh, gallery, the library, in the lobby, and outside. And the main gallery was not big enough to accommodate all of them. So make sure you get over to the library. There are three exhibitions in the FGCU library that are well worth um, seeing. Alongside those exhibitions is an exhibition by Andre Martinez in the Art Lab Gallery. And there is a reception, there's a dessert and coffee reception there as well. So there's many reasons to go over to the library and see those exhibitions. Outside, we have Layla Mazdagi's exhibition in a big shipping container. It's a big black box outside the, the main gallery. And then in the lobby, there are two exhibitions as well. So there's many components. I just want to make you aware that um, it's not just in the main gallery tonight. Um, I've also had the privilege this semester of being one of the faculty mentors, and that's been an honor. I got to see what the faculty do uh, with our seniors, and it's been a privilege to work with all of you. So thank you to our students for being so wonderful to work with. It's, it really has been my, my pleasure, so thank you. Um, the other person that I owe um, thanks to is Mike Salmon. He was the uh, faculty mentor I worked alongside with this semester. And you know, not only did Mike help me do my job, uh, but he also showed me, you know, once again, what the other faculty uh, do for our students. And at this point, I'd like to thank all of the art and art history faculty for the wonderful job they do in bringing our students to this point in, in their educational career. So thank you, all of the, the faculty members. Uh, before I welcome uh, Mike Salmon up here to say a few words, I'd like to bring uh, Dean uh, of the College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Um, Bob Gregerson, up. Thank you. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. Uh, listen, this is one of my favorite days of the, the year, uh, seeing the products that students produce. I'm always blown away by the quality and the diversity of things that, that you all produce. So you're to be congratulated, but I know you didn't get here by yourselves. You've got family that have been instrumental in supporting you. John already mentioned the faculty who have mentored you. Uh, so I'm just here to say congratulations. Can't wait to get in and, and see everything. Uh, this is a great day. This is the culmination of, of your undergraduate career. So congratulations to all of you. Best wishes and um, have a great night. Bye. <laughs> sure ass. All right. Um, hi everyone, as John said, I'm Mike Salmond, I'm digital media design faculty here. So my job is to basically kick off what these guys down here are absolutely crapping themselves over right now, which is their, their talk, where they're going to come up and tell you about their work. Um, I do really want to encourage you, I know that you're all, most of you are families and friends, so you've lived through the pain and the anguish they've gone over for the last semester. Um, some of them are still working on their work up until about an hour ago, you know, especially the digital stuff. So there's a lot, been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that goes into this, and I think you can tell that it's really paid off. Excuse my voice, sounds funny, I've got a cold. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna kick off with our first um, student, Rachel Bass. <laughs> my name is Rachel Bass. My installation is called, um, what is it? Deconstruction, <laughs> Challenging the Privilege of Denial. It's, on, um, it's a participatory installation in the FGCU main gallery. Uh, first of all, I have to start out by saying thank you 
especially to my husband, who has supported me in every way imaginable and some that I still can't imagine. Um, I also need to thank my friends and family for supporting me, even if they don't understand me a lot of the time. They still, <laughs> they still have my back. Um, all of my professors, all of my teachers, both inside and outside of the classroom. I also have to thank Annika and John in the gallery for giving me the opportunity to work in the gallery, uh, which is where I found my community and my family at FGCU. So I'm forever appreciative of that. Um, I'm really, I'm surrounded by so much support and so much love. I really shouldn't ever ask for anything else from any of you, but tonight I'm going to. <laughs> uh, my exhibit, as I, as I mentioned, it is uh, participatory. Um, many of us, I think, would like to believe that we live in a world where the color of your skin does not matter, where everyone is treated equally. However, the facts just don't back that up. Um, tonight, I'm asking us to confront our own individual role in that. People, especially people who look like me, who aren't affected by race on a daily basis, have the privilege of denying that, it, that the problems still exist. I'm asking each of us to kind of look inside ourselves, relate to one of the blocks that's up on the wall, remove the block, take it with you. It's yours. They're, they're takeaways. So um, please take them home with you. Read what's written on the wall behind it. And I just feel like if, if the, the, majority of, <laughs> the majority of us, the good and decent people, if we loved each other with the same amount of passion and fire that the very few among us use to hate other people, we could do better than what we're doing. Thank you. Hello, my name is Noelle Blake. My project is titled Self-Judgments and is located in the main gallery of the arts complex. My project examines how women judge themselves, especially young women, based on quantitative numbers that represent to them their body type, their shape, their height, things like that. And so I challenge them in my project to look at the more positive numbers in their lives, the things that really shape them as women, instead of the numbers that just represent an outside form. My project is video projection mapping on, um, well, you'll see. But anyway, <laughs> I would like to thank all the female participants, all the young women that are my close friends as well, that participated in my video, and I would like to thank you for attending tonight. There we go. Yeah? OK. This is on? OK. Hi everyone, my name is Cassie Bertagna, and I'd like to thank you all for being here today and helping support all my fellow artists and myself. Um, my exhibition is called Remnants of Flesh and Bone and it is located in the main gallery. My exhibition is about the destruction of coral reefs. Currently, 75% of the, all coral reefs all over the world are threatened and it affects our lives even though some people don't realize that it does. Um, every breath of, water, breath of air you take, every drop of water you drink, you owe it to the ocean. And um, my exhibition is captured through ceramic sculptures and it's, like I said, located in the gallery. And at this moment, I would like to thank my family for supporting me and my boyfriend and my friends who came here today, all my professors who have guided me along the way. So thank you. Hi, my name is Maddie Chaffee, and my exhibition is titled Voyage, Your Travel Companion, and it is located in the main gallery. Voyage is a travel app that seeks to connect its users with fellow travelers once they reach their destination. My inspiration from the app came from my own personal goals to travel after graduation, and I would just like to thank my professors, my family, and my friends for supporting me through this process. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jeannie Clark, and my art is entitled Geometric Musing. Um, this series of meditative light boxes 
fuses my love of art and contemplative practices with sacred geometry. Uh, it's located in the back corner of the main art gallery. Um, so please check it out and let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'd like to take some time to thank my professors, Mary Wojtek, uh, Brian Cast, Andy Owen, and John Lasciuto for your wisdom and inspiration over the years. Uh, big thanks to Andy Morris for all of your assistance and guidance, and Simon Hubler for um, all the hours in open studio. Um, special thanks to my father-in-law for providing me with a second wood shop this semester. Um, my husband for supporting me and helping keep me grounded through this process and the rest of my loving and supportive family um, without whom I would not be the person that I am today. Um, thanks to everybody for coming out and supporting this wonderful class. I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> well, hello, my name is Sharice Fortella, and the title of my art exhibition is Adventures of Molly Whoopi. Um, it's basically a modernized version of the old fairy tale called Adventures of Molly's, uh, Molly Whoopi. And what I did with that was create five comic book covers uh, to illustrate this story. Uh, to make it more interesting, I wanted the scenes to be sort of in a way of, that would make you want to read the actual comic book if I were to make it into a comic book. Um, other than that, uh, well, I'd like to thank all of my professors. Mike, thank you for dealing with me for 12 classes. Uh, Sasha, Jackie, Andy Squared, that means Andy Owen and Andy Morris. Um, and I'd like to thank all of my fellow our graduates, you guys made some great work and I'm so happy to be graduating with you guys. Thank you. Okay, hello, my name is Rebecca Garns and um, my collection is, First Hand Collection is the name of my project. It is located in the back corner of the main gallery and um, for my project, it pretty much is a self-reflection of my love for everyday design and everyday products and how you can make them your own and have an emotional connection with them. So I really wanted to create something that was personal and something that kind of reflected who I am when it comes to my weird kinks and routines. And I personally want to thank all of my family and friends that came out tonight. I want to thank Sasha for all of her hard work and helping me along the way. I want to thank Professor Bershay for everything as well. And of course, Mike for having 12 classes as well. So thank you so much for coming out and supporting everyone. Hello, my name is Simon Hubler. And my, the title of my exhibition is Momenta and it's located in the main gallery. Um, it is uh, an installation that's suspended, so please look up when you go in. Um, so the, uh, the installation is inspired by uh, parasomnia and different types of uh, sleep disorders that like some of them I have, uh, mainly doing like sleepwalking and falling dreams. Um, so yeah, they are suspended, and there's three molds or three figures that are cast off myself with help from some friends, obviously. Uh, and automotive filler or like Bondo is uh, poured into them, so they're kind of like light. Um, yeah, and they're painted white to be like a dreamlike, uh, dreamlike state, I guess. And um, yeah, I like to thank, I got so many people, I wrote it down. <laughs> okay, so thank you to my parents uh, for funding this. <laughs> uh, all, all my friends, everyone, especially you guys. Um, uh, thank you to my casting and mold-making team, Ashley and Felipe and my girlfriend, Gianna. Uh, yeah, because I couldn't have done it. <laughs> uh, Help me with the molds. Uh, my mentors, um, Brian Cast and uh, Mary Wojtek and Patricia Fay. Uh, and also a special thanks to Andy Morris. Right there. Yep, and for helping me out and fixing all the stuff I break. Um, yeah, and thanks everyone for coming. And if you have any questions about the show, feel free to ask. Thank you. Uh, 
Oh yeah, gonna have to move this. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I'm super tall. All right, hello everyone. My name is Janine Crench. My project is titled Sojourn a Future Past and it is located in the lobby of the gallery. Um, my project is about, think of a time or a world if Kennedy wasn't shot and he lived to the end of the decade to see America put a man on the moon. What would turn out, like, what would happen to the space program? So my project goes through the eyes of the everyday people living in the 1960s. The hardworking American man, the loving housewife, their perfect children, and their journey through space. Um, I would like to take this time to thank my family, my friends, my boyfriend, of course my professors who had to deal with me, and um, I hope you guys like my show. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alexis Lazat, and the title of my exhibition is Effective Cultivation. It's located in the library. The word effective relates to the cause of emotions and feeling, and this element is uh, reflected in my work as the concept communicates the development and growth of plant life on the individual's skin displayed in my work. Um, I would like to thank my professors, my friends, and my family for supporting me through my journey, and um, thank you again for coming out, and I hope you enjoy the exhibit. Hi everybody, um, thank you all for coming tonight. My name is Felipe Maldonado and my show is entitled Regenerum. Um, it is Latin for regeneration. Um, a lot of the focus of my work has to do with uh, the curiosity of man and the ability to have a constant search for new meanings and how it never actually ends. Um, the work itself is made entirely of ceramic wheel thrown objects that are meticulous in their forms and in their surface decorations themselves. Um, I would like to take the time right now to thank quite a large amount of people. Um, first of all, all my friends that have, are here tonight and all of my friends that were with me along the process of me spending hourless nights in the studio crying and throwing <laughs> things everywhere. Um, a special thanks to my good friend Simon who has been through me with me through this process since who knows when. Uh, Noel, Charisse, uh, you guys have been great. Um, a special thanks to Sabrina, Jordan, Libby, and Alyssa Baladad for helping me out through this because I, without you guys, I probably wouldn't have made it as far as I did. <laughs> and a special thank you to Patricia Fay, who has been not only my best mentor, but one of my good friends here at FGCU. And a special shout out to my mom, who, just like Simon, is a product of this. Um, without her, I probably wouldn't be here, standing here having the speech right now. And I hope you all enjoy the show, um, and thank you all for coming. Oh, just a minute. This is too slippery for me. Ah, okay, got it. Hello everybody, I'm Leila Mestagi, and my exhibition is called Privilege of Removal, which is located outside of the main gallery in a big black container. Privilege is an immunity, a reserved right. And um, it's not for everybody, only some people have it. And um, overall my piece is about the relationship we have with the others, the ones we're not related to, the ones we cannot relate to, and the ones we really do not give a damn about. Um, in my piece, I challenge how we observe, react um, to our social and political issues. Um, I don't want to give out too much because I have created a space for you to, to experience and um, just 
experience it, please. Watch your steps when you go in, don't pull the curtain. And um, I would like to thank so many people that uh, without you, none of this would have been possible from my home, family, friends, professors. Um, John, for your patience, me being very late with everything all the time. And um, I would like to specifically thank my son, Safayar, for his patience and maturity dealing with me. <laughs> and also Irene and Dr. Rashid for their tremendous love and support taking care of him, allowing me to do what I love to do. Thank you very much. All right, I think that's tall enough. All right, so my name is Chris Miller. The title of my project is Natural Abstractions and it's located in the west wing of the FGCU library. Uh, in my mind, uh, nature is the artist's playground, and it could have a lot of inspiration for a lot of artists everywhere. Uh, in nature, uh, nature creates many different forms, patterns, and shapes, and stuff that aligns with the principles of art itself. Uh, sometimes you need to look up into space to see them. Other times you need something as like a microscope in order to see these things that are so small. Uh, or you can even just find a subject in nature and condense, condense it down into its uh, basic elements like uh, P.A. Mondrian did with the gray tree. Uh, however, instead of breaking a subject down into its basic artistic elements, what I did was bring actual elements up from the ground, thousands, tens of thousands of years old beneath our feet, and uh, that have already been abstracted by nature. And uh, so that's my project. It's located in the library, and I hope you go see it. And now I'd like to give a special thanks to my parents for pushing me to go to college to begin with, <laughs> and my fiance for keeping me on track when she knew I wasn't, uh, Jimmy McDonald, the geology professor, for letting me use all the equipment in order to take these images, uh, all the art faculty for their exceptional instructions, and Andy Owen especially for believing in me when I didn't even believe in myself, and uh, everyone for coming out. So thank you. Alrighty. Hello, my name is Andrew Mullen, and my project is Bucerata Day. It is located in the main gallery. It's the one with all the birds. Um, my project is looking at what a specific bird, the uh, great Indian hornbill, would look like after a couple thousand years of evolution. I wanted to look at accelerated evolution, well, not necessarily accelerated evolution, but I wanted to look at a species evolution in relation to human impacts, but not looking at the human impacts. I wanted to look at the ways that species are able to adapt to humanity, look at it in a positive sense, to see how many different ways animals are, they're just amazing. There's just um, so many amazing ways, things that you wouldn't think were even possible. So I wanted to adapt this species to be able to exist in, in a more arid future, something that it wouldn't be used to. And I move forward from there, and it's come out to be an interesting project. It was an evolution in itself. I wasn't even sure where the project was going to go originally. So from here, I'd like to thank uh, specifically three professors. I'd like to thank Andy Owen for all of his support, um, uh, Dr. Megan McShane for driving this project along in the first place, and I'd also like to thank Mary Wojtek for just being there to support me in previous classes. All right, thank you. Hello, my name is Ashley Nebles, and the title of my project is Undressing the Flaws. It's located in the main gallery. Um, I designed, fabricated, and photographed three wearable sculptures using steel, and they were inspired by imperfections in the human body caused by aging. I would like to thank my parents, my friends, my family, my model, I couldn't have done this without you, um, all of my professors, especially Brian Cast, Andy Morris, Mike, and Simon. Thank you, enjoy.
Hello, my name is Megan Olson, and my project titled Common Origins is located in the FGCU art lobby, and it is about, or it's an illustration of five creation myths, and um, it's, uh, they're from different parts of the world, and it's all coexisting on a single 12-foot tapestry. Um, in this, I show the similarities between the stories, as well as the religious tolerance that our pagan ancestors had for one another. Um, I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me with this whole process of school. Thank God it's over. Um, <laughs> and I would also like to thank um, the FGCU faculty for all their help and all their support. My boyfriend, Adam, for all of his support as well. And um, I would like to thank my fellow students for their support too. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alexandrina Petrova, and my project, Terralo, is located in the main gallery. Creating a garden can be a step toward a healthier future. As you take care of a garden, it takes care of you too. With my project, I hope to inspire people to create their own gardens so they can experience the health benefits and environmental benefits that come with it. Uh, for this, I have created an app, two posters, and a garden of my own. Thank you to my friends, my family, and my professors for helping me these past few years. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mike Reckmer, and uh, my project is called Thrown to the Wolves. It's a uh, video game located in the art gallery, and it's basically about a group of bandits in a post-apocalyptic uh, plagued world, and uh, basically you're, you end up getting betrayed, and uh, it's just a really dark story where you go on adventures, and uh, it has different kind of mechanics in the game to help test the players. Um, I would like to thank uh, my family, uh, my professors, and the uh, marketing and communications team. Thank you. Last but not least, hi everyone, good evening. My name is Samantha Weiss, and my exhibition is called Stop and Stare, located in the FGCU library. My works were inspired by patterns and optical illusions that catch the eye, leaving the viewer wanting to stop and stare at the works. Am I close enough or no? OK, cool. Um, I'd like to thank my friends, family, professors, and peers for all their support and for believing in me this semester. I hope you all enjoy the Senior Project Exhibition of 2016. Go Eagles! All right, we're not quite done yet. First thing I'm gonna do, I hear this place is soundproof, but I don't believe it. So if our students could now stand up and face your audience and let's holler for them. <laughs> okay, that's enough. All right, that'll do it. I think we broke everything. So um, this is the first year we've had the digital media design concentration. And it's become a tradition now. If I ask Sasha to come up here as adjunct design faculty, and if our concentration students come up, they're going to get awarded with their designer t-shirts. They're now qualified designers. So Maddie, Noel, you know who you are, come on. No, not Nina. On. You, not you yet. <laughs> Andrew, yep. So these are our design, digital media design concentration students. You can just go ahead and give them out.
<laughs> Definitely want to see you wearing it by the end of tonight. <laughs> We've got yet one more thing going on. We've got two more things going on. So another first is we now have a design award that goes out in Senior Project, the winner of which is Madison Chaffee. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's it. <laughs> and Layla, can I welcome you to the stage? So our art historians read through a lot of research. So thank you to Dr. Megan McShane and Dr. Amory Boucher for that monumental effort. And I'd like to congratulate you, Layla, for winning the Faculty Choice Aww. Research Award. Thank you. So that concludes our presentations. I'd li now like to welcome all of you back to the main gallery and to the library where we'll have two receptions. Thank, Thank you. you.